the way. Underway. Back in 1840, a young man called Edward Eyre camped for the night near here, on the northern fringe of the Flinders Ranges. <coughs> Eyre had been hoping that the Rangers would lead him all the way to the heart of Australia. Now, they'd petered out. Ahead lay the plains, vast, featureless, mysterious. Most of Australia, nearly four-fifths of it, was still completely uncharted by Europeans. Air stood on the threshold of unknown lands twice the size of India. They were inhabited lands by people superbly tuned to desert survival. But for Europeans, there was no more daunting and dangerous unknown country on Earth. Still today, a journey to Central Australia is an adventure, and something more. You don't just see Australia's heart, you feel it. A hundred years ago, before civilization had even heard of Central Australia, the world was already said to have seven natural wonders. That's why I call the centre the Eighth Wonder.